if you cannot get your offer to work on paid advertising, it's probably because you don't have an irresistible offer. If you're under $3 million a year in your business and you don't even see the pathway to how you're going to get to 3 million, you need to pay attention to this. Hello and welcome back to Crafted Entrepreneur. Remember, I'm bringing you part two. We talked about how to find your ideal client. Now, this is part two. Now that you understand who you're talking to, how do we create an offer that can help you scale in your online business? So we're going to cover four things. What is a compelling offer? Who is this for? Like who should be designing offers like this? How to design a compelling offer and why is it so important? So first, what is a compelling offer? A compelling offer has two parts. Number one, it works on cold traffic. So this could be ads, your group funnel, IG shout outs, cold email. If you're buying a list off somebody else and sending emails to them, it's compelling enough to attract strangers who don't know anything about you, but they go, I need that. So I want you to think about it. (laughs) What was the last thing that you bought from somebody you have no clue about? Like you don't know their business or anything. I mean, I bought an offer off of somebody. I saw an ad. The offer was extremely compelling because it had a guarantee in there. It was 25,000 bucks. I bought it in less than 12 hours on the phone with them buying it because I needed it in my business. It solved a problem with the sales side of my business. Number two, this is how you know it's a compelling offer. It's scalable from a fulfillment standpoint. So if you double it, if you three exit, or even if you five exit, will this offer break? Can you get to at least three to 5 million a year with this offer? Yeah, you might have to change some things up, patch some holes, hire more people, but in its foundation, is this operationally simple enough to give you a good amount of sales? So I'll take you to my irresistible offer right now is Crafted Deals. So this program is brand new. We just started talking about it about two weeks ago. Can it work on cold traffic? Yes, because the model has been proven like, People run ads all the time and we started running ads and it's converting. So we know that yes, it works on cold traffic. The second thing is, can we hit 5 million with this product and completely fulfill it, right? By just hiring more people. And the answer is yes, because there's so many moving parts in it. One thing that we have to do in order as we scale is we just have to hire more more coaches, which I have access to. So it's a compelling and scalable offer. So now if you're listening to this podcast right now and you're going, is what Kayla talking about? Is this for me? Do I even need to listen? If you don't have an offer that works on cold traffic, that is scalable to 5 million, you need to pay attention to what I'm going to say. Okay. If you are a business that is a full service agency, you need to listen to what I'm about to say. If you cannot get your offer to work on paid advertising, it's probably because you don't have an irresistible offer. If you're under $3 million a year in your business and you don't even see the pathway to how you're going to get to 3 million, you need to pay attention to this. So let's talk about this. How do you design an irresistible offer? Your offer should do three things. It should solve a problem for a certain person who we talked about on part one. And the third thing is it should solve a problem for a specific person in a very specific way. Does your offer hit all three of those things? So I want you to write this down right now. What problem are you solving? Make it as niche as possible. You already hopefully did your ideal client exercise. And now what is your method? How do you do it like nobody else does it? You can sometimes get away with not having a unique method if you have case studies. If you have testimonials, you can get away with it. So 
either you have case studies, but if you're brand new, and I'm assuming if you're not at $3 million a year, you probably don't have a lot of case studies yet. So I really want you to hone in on what is my unique method. I'm going to give you some examples. Okay. We're a relationship coaching business that helps divorced women over 40 find love again by creating a new lifestyle. So the problem is helping women over 40 find love. The specific pro- the specific person is a woman over 40 years old. And the unique method is a new lifestyle that helps them attract men. Okay. So they're going to teach them all that inside of that offer. Another thing is we're a health coaching business that helps men over 40 lose weight by optimizing their hormones. So the problem is they need to lose weight. They're hitting men over 40. And the unique method is optimizing hormone profiles. So hopefully that helps you break it down. Your offer should be that simple where we could break it down into those three things right now. If you don't have that yet, start drawing, start doodling, start writing these things out. It is extremely important to make this offer simple yet irresistible. So it's extremely important to solve a specific problem with a unique method because if you don't have that, your marketing is going to be hard because the messaging is going to sound like it's talking to everybody and people are going to look at it and go, I don't know if this is for me. So the more specific you could be, the better right? Now, the next thing here is if this offer is so irresistible, you can charge premium prices for it. So I'm going to give you the example because, you know, my healthcare background, I'm going to give you the example of choosing a family doctor versus a neurosurgeon. If you've been having sight issues and seizures, who do you want to go to? Do I want to go to the general doctor? Or do I want to go to the neurosurgeon? I want to go to the neurosurgeon, right? Because they know exactly how to fix my problem. They've saw, probably seen it a hundred times and they just have more trust compared to the jack of all trades who knows a little bit about everything. I don't want to go to the generalized person. It's the same with your customer. They build up trust in you because they know you can actually solve the problem they have at hand. And The third thing I want you to think about is the simpler your offer is, the easier it is for people to understand in their minds that this is for them. So what we do with our real estate funds is we always raise funds for multifamily complexes, right? So apartment complexes. And it's a very rinse and repeat situation. We pick up class B properties that need cosmetic updates and need amenities added in. We update everything raise the rent, which makes the business more profitable. And by that time, it's three to five years later. And the real estate has maybe appreciated a little bit more, but most importantly, the business has become more profitable because we were able to raise the rents and we sell it for double. Okay. So this is really important because we have a rinse and repeat operation going on. So all my investors know like, Hey, if I'm coming to you, it's not some unique thing right? Like, oh my gosh, it's out of the woodworks. Crazy. We don't know if this investment is going to go. It's like, no, like it's very much tried and true. This is the way that we do things. We have a long track record of success and the unique method is exactly what I just said. Class B multifamily cosmetic updates and knowing off market people that are going to buy it from us. So we have an exit strategy in the beginning, large network, So the investors know what they're going to get. It makes it an easy yes. The offer is irresistible because it's very low risk and high reward without having to put any time or effort into making that money be multiplied for them. I get so pumped up about offers because if you're in the mud right now and you're not having an offer like blow up, you just need to get curious about what it is that people really want and how it is that you actually are empowering them in the problem that you solve. So some people like I have somebody that's in one of my programs right now and she is a nurse practitioner. She owns a med spa and her unique offer is most people that are getting Botox filler, lasers, 
they look a certain way, okay? They look like everybody wants to look like Kim Kardashian. And a lot of people are looking fake. They look older than how old they really are because everybody is doing Botox and filler the same way. Her unique method is to age youthfully. So not making your face look like a plastic Barbie, but just helping you age gracefully. And so her unique method is less is more and helping your, you know, your face age gracefully. So she has a completely different look than every other person out there. And it really stands out to those people who are kind of scared to invest in their face because they don't want to look like Kim K. They don't want to look like every other person out there right now. Right. And so she's attracting a whole different type of person that would normally never walk in to, uh, you know, aesthetics office and get anything done because they're too scared. So it's really cool. She has a very irresistible offer. Who doesn't want to age gracefully? So look at all your clients right now. Which clients do you absolutely love working with the most? Which clients are the ones that you get the best results for? Which ones are the easiest to serve? Which are the easiest to sell? Once you get that down, then go, okay, what problem am I really good at solving? And what problem do I enjoy going deep on? Like, what is the thing that you enjoy like geeking out on for people? Once you have those things answered, then you go into your method. Okay, I'm really good at solving X, but why is it that I'm so much better than everybody else out there in the marketplace at solving X? And all the other, uh, you know, all the other alternatives out there. So most everyone trying to achieve this result is doing X, which is their problem. Okay. So most everyone in social selling is trying to achieve, you know, top recruiter success by posting on social media every day. That's the problem. Okay. Here's the problem with that is that social media is saturated. The pandemic made way more social sellers. It's not as easy to get people as it used to be, which ultimately means you have less sales in your pocket. So instead, we teach you how to build evergreen content that makes you be a magnet for all your specific ideal people you want on your team, which ultimately will lead you to the financial freedom and the time freedom you've always wanted. Boom, shakalaka. Somebody write that on your social media right now. Okay. So do you see how it's like, whoa, I want to buy that. I'm not even in social selling anymore. I'm like, I want to buy that right now because you have to learn how to do it differently than everybody else out there than everybody else out there. So go and study. What are, what are the top earners doing? What are other people in your industry doing? If you're in real estate investing, and everybody else out there is going and doing direct mail, how do you stand out? How do you stand out? That's a hard one, right? Well, what other people have started to do is is Facebook ads. They've done referral marketing, right? Asking friends and family and giving them a referral fee for finding deals for them. Like do the opposite of what people are doing. That's always fun. <laughs> you find your unique method. Try it out. You won't know if it if it works until you know it works. So you got to put in some sweat equity and really dissect what it is that you do differently in your industry so you can beat out all the competition. And that's really what it takes to have a great offer. You want to stand out. And the next thing that we do that's just like a cherry on top is we like luxury, okay? We like luxury offers. So people who pay me six figures to work with me for the year, we go above and beyond, right? So one of my clients, she, I have several people who own med spas, but one of my clients, she owns med spa. Okay, not only is she getting coaching with me, but I'm coaching her staff to help them with their sales and negotiation tactics, right? So we're going above and beyond so she could feel completely supported as she grows into an eight-figure company. She's almost there. It's crazy. So we like to add in that extra layer. Like what would make people just say, absolutely, heck yes. They don't even think twice about it. They're ready to give you the money. And support and guidance 
is huge for people. People just like to feel supported. So if you can add in that on top of your unique method, boom, shakalaka. I really, really highly recommend you do that. So again, we talked about doing the offer, go through, do the exercises. Let me know what you guys think. I said it as quick as I could because I got to take my kids to football, but I hope you guys really use this. Think about it, ingest it, put it out into the marketplace and see if it lands with people. That's how you know, like if you have a good offer, are people willing to buy it? And then once people are willing to buy it, then pour gasoline on it, start throwing paid advertising behind it. All right, we can ha- talk about this so much. I'm actually gonna bring my ads team on the podcast because I want you to hear from them what is working in the marketplace, what can help you when it comes to paid advertising, all right? So love you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in.